Hi, and welcome back to Bean Talk. Just in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a suit right now, I'm at the Austrian premiere of the La Cimoli M200. Um, we're going to show you a little bit about that in a few weeks' time. But first off, we'd like to show you something about the host in Milano, where I went just about two weeks ago, where the M200 was first premiered. So yeah, let's see the footage. Hi, welcome to uh, Bean Talk, and I'm Rob from Slayer UK. So I, I manage the UK branch or brand uh, of Slayer, um, and I'm here at Host on the Slayer stand, and it's really exciting to be here and, and also talking to Bean Talk uh, and you guys out there. In terms of what's new, I mean, as ever, we come up with different concepts and different colors based on what people want, and we've got a beautiful Slay a single group in the metallic pink, which is is really delicious, and uh, I'd really like to see that in my kitchen, uh, as as I'm sure a lot of other people would. One of the things that we're showcasing with the single group here is that we have got a single group tank. So we've got a kind of proof of concept. It's a little bit of a prototype water tank and drip tray that we've got and we're just getting feedback seeing what people's thoughts are but that definitely would make the single group more accessible to home users or even exhibitions where you want to move it around and also even pop-up cafes roasteries and things like that it gives a lot more of an advantage on use of the single group in many multiple locations so that's quite exciting um, we're featuring the LP with guest roasters. We've got the predictive weight control uh, brewing amazing shots. We've got a beautiful uh, anaerobic fermentation Ethiopian from Black and White Coffee on at the moment. Shots are coming out absolutely delicious in that long play with around about 40 to 45 seconds on that shot. So super tasty. And one of the most exciting things that we've got is a prototype version of the V4 or the Espresso uh, potential V4 and we're probably going to pan this camera if we can. There we go. So we're going to walk around and we'll just show you a little glimpse. Now this is a prototype, proof of concept if you like. Um, one of the bits of feedback that we've had for some time on the Slayer Espresso is that you'd like displays and shot timers and so we kind of put uh, an LP style screen on there. Um, and, and this is very much not a working prototype at the moment, um, but uh, it is kind of showcasing what we can do uh, and gaining people's feedback. So for those people who've been at host, you'll have been asked to fill out a questionnaire about a um, single group water tank and also what you like, don't like about this. Uh, an idea of a slight redesigned back panel. So again, gauging thoughts on that. Uh, slight angular look to, to the back, giving it more dynamic. Do you like it? Do you don't like it? You know, that's what we want to know. But the main change is that display, giving the ability to add more control and functionality to the iconic espresso. Rest assured that the brew technology is the same as the espresso. We're still using, using the patented needle valve to create those beautiful long uh, pre-brew and then into the full brew shot. So the flavor profiling is, is there, super controlled. As you can see, there's lots of excitement getting pictures taken already uh, of this machine here. And uh, that's kind of the, the main features that we're showing. Um, the real important thing I think with the Slayer Espresso, particularly on the customization, is that the ideas are yours. Uh, and that's what we love um, with Slayer Espresso, that, that you can come up with an idea and then it's up to us to help you bring that into reality in terms of the colors, the finishes, uh, and, and that's gonna remain the heartbeat of what we do at Slayer Espresso, uh, but also the amazing steam ranges. Uh, if you've not had an espresso from a Slayer Steam, 
go out and find one um, because they are super delicious shots. Uh, that's it from me. I'm Rob Ward, uh, UK brand manager for Slayer, and it's been my pleasure to be here uh, representing Bean Talk uh, for these few minutes. Thank you. Uh, ciao, Luigi. Uh, we have the we have the great pleasure here to talk to Luigi Morello, who's the uh, strategy and marketing director of Grupo Cimbali. Um, first and foremost, thank you for the interview, Luigi. Um, that we can talk to you. Some of you might know him from one of our first videos, where he talked about the Istituto Espresso Italiano. And yes, so right now we want to talk about La, La Cimbali and. First of all, I would like to ask you about the whole rebranding. What was the idea behind it? Thank you, uh, Maxi, and uh, it's my pleasure to, to present uh, our uh, rebranding and then uh, our high-end product. We, uh, the rebranding uh, is uh, that we are presenting here for the first time at the host uh, 21 is not an aesthetic uh, exercise uh, but is uh, a new repositioning of uh, all the four brands where uh, we gave to every uh, brand one specific mission in uh, for talking about the brand slayer so uh, is our uh, high-end luxury brand dedicated to uh, the boutique coffee, but also to, uh, to design, uh, artisan, and uh, the aisle, uh, hand of luxury. We uh, repositioning also the La Cimbali and Faema, the two historically uh, brands, both from Milano, both representing uh, uh, the story and the history uh, of the coffee machines. We uh, identify Faema as a uh, the machine with uh, passion, with uh, heritage, with uh, uh, artisan uh, in, uh, in terms of uh, uh, recognition, in terms of uh, uh, design for uh, baristas. Talking about uh, La Cimbali is uh, uh, one of the oldest uh, uh, company from the 1912 and uh, the DNA of uh, Cimbali that we want to uh, express and to uh, stress uh, is the technology. Uh, so innovation and technology are the, uh, the DNA for La Cimbali. Since ever, uh, Ch La Cimbali was uh, uh, creating uh, innovation and solution for uh, the barista. So, uh, and then in, on, this, uh, uh, on this point, we are presenting uh, the high-end, the M200, that is a, a machine talking for with all five cents. So it's a, uh, it's a machine designed both from uh, the uh, consumer and for the end user as well. And I think people can already see it here in the back, the new La Cimbali M200. It's a beautiful machine, definitely something um, new and I'd say also a design statement. Absolutely, is uh, an innovative uh, design with uh, uh, the goal to attract uh, the people, to attract uh, the, uh, the consumer, to attract uh, the coffee uh, lovers, but also um, uh, to let the baristas working in the right and safety way. All the machines are redesigned in terms of ergonomy, uh, there is uh, uh, the, you know, the space for the barista, there is the space uh, for uh, uh, the steam water, the trip tray is uh, ergonomic, you can also uh, remove uh, up and down if in the evening you want to make cocktail, uh, uh, during the morning uh, espresso and cappuccino, so it's a very flexible machine. We have uh, buttons, we have touch screen, we have uh, the, the front panel, is, uh, is really designed in any single details and is uh, a machine that can be connected with our platform so it's a machine already for the uh, third millennium uh, in terms of technology connectivity IOT uh, and then also uh, artificial intelligence 
Okay, thank you very much. I will definitely have to try it out and make a few espresso with it. it like I said before, it looks amazing. I'm quite impressed. Um, also, thank you very much again, Luigi, for the interview. Thank you. If you like uh, to have a cup of coffee. I really like the strong color accents with the red line. Uh, 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 the red line is uh, the, the brand, is uh, the line of the project. Is uh, uh, La Cimbali brand project is because it's not uh, a product. Is a, uh, a project that we are building around the machine uh, together with the customer for the customer. So is uh, so the whole package, so to speak. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, and welcome back to Bean Talk. Right now we have uh, Jessica from Café de Colombia with us. Um, hello, Jessica, first of all, and thank you for the interview. No, thank you for thinking of me to share with you about Colombian coffee. So it's really, uh, I'm honored to, to be joined to, to talk. Thank you. So, what is it that Café de Colombia does, or what is what is your role here? Okay, we are here just to represent the coffee farmers in Colombia. They are more than 200,000 farmers. The Colombia Federation of Coffee Growers are uh, it's like an association in Colombia that supports all the farmers, and they put together all the four to to sell the coffee from Colombia and have a representative uh, coffee and high quality in the in the cup. So basically that for what is Cafe de Colombia, what is it. And my role here is just to show up the coffee, to present it, to make it uh, good uh, to the customers, to find what the customers are searching for, to connect them okay. and to like give them all the information what they want to know about Colombia because it's so diverse. It's more than 23, uh, 23 regions that produce coffee in Colombia. So it's very, it's very diverse and very big. So we want to show up for all the farmers, not just one brand. Okay, that's amazing. And we can see a map on the wall. I think Colombia, is it the third biggest producer of coffee or what's yes. it? Yes, it's the first in Cafe Arabica. It's Arabica 100% and so the, it's like the mildest and sweetest co uh, less mild coffee in the world. So you can find coffees from high altitude, mostly are grown in the high mountains. But you can find also coffees from flat areas in the northern where it's hotter, when it's uh, almost sea level. So there is a lot of diversity in the Colombian coffee. Yeah, and we just tried an espresso from uh, Jessica and it tasted very nice. It was really good, it had a nice acidity. I really liked it. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for the interview, Jessica. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and have a great uh, time here at Host. Thank, thank you. Hello and welcome back to Bean Talk. Um, right now we have here with us Maria Vitoria, who is the coffee home design manager. Um, first of all, thank you for the interview. Thank you to you, thank you very much. And so, um, right here we have the new Phi Mina, which is just a stunning machine, I have to say. And yeah, it's such a beautiful design and I wanted to ask you what went into the design process of this machine. Okay, when we decided to develop Phi Mina, we uh, request something that was uh, really really unique very very exclusive and uh, ital design uh, draw this time to a very perfect product uh, perfect in terms of uh, match for any kind of uh, style and environment okay yeah it's gorgeous and also um, i've seen there's a lot of marketing going on around the five mina very beautiful pictures as well as videos um, if you want to say something about that as well yes Famina is for a product for uh, beginner, for coffee lover, for uh, professional barista, and uh, we want to involve everyone to taste the real good coffee, the, the real quality in terms of coffee. And uh, we know that this kind of uh, machine is for someone that want to show with the manuality how to prepare the right coffee. And this machine is also directed to all people that uh, love coffee, uh, also different kind of preparation. Think about the brewing one. We have a specific function for brewing process. And then we have also uh, a special function about infusion tea, because we know that there are a big there are a lot of uh, target clients that are very focused on tea and uh, there are different temperatures to prepare a class tea and for example a Chinese tea and this machine is the only one to have that. The quality is the base of uh, 
uh, this machine because inside we have uh, integrated a filter, a soft layer filter for the water and this is a very very uh, good point not only in terms of quality in cup but especially in terms of maintenance. This is a, a reliability support for, uh, for uh, someone that is uh, not an expert but uh, wants a coffee machine, barista one at home. It's great. So, like you said, it just basically does everything. Everything, and yes. Just one point. <laughs> uh, there is also an app, Bifaema. Bifaema is an app for everyone that wants to come in in the coffee world. And this app is perfect in order to explain some important recipe. For example, also for example, how to avoid to waste coffee when you prepare and uh, it's uh, perfect also to pair with the machine in order to set the right temperature, to set the switch on of a machine every day of the week and especially give you the support when you have some difficulties to prepare coffee. Uh, we ask to Alexa to support you and Alexa will support step by step about the coffee preparation or for example how to clean the machine. So this is, uh, this is uh, the, the quid more that we want to offer to the beginner. Yeah. It's very nice and also somebody showed me this earlier today. Yeah. What yeah. is this made of? It's made with coffee. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a plastic that was uh, made with the waste of the coffee. Okay. And uh, we are going to uh, be very, very sustainable. This machine is strongly sustainable because uh, we, are, we have just five minutes to switch on this machine. And there is a standby inside that is 10 minutes, not 20, not 25, in order to preserve the energy saving. And also there is uh, the possibility to have uh, the coat on the boiler. And uh, this is a good point uh, always for, uh, for avoid the energy consumption. Okay, that's quite a smart machine, I have to say. Yeah. So, Maria Vittoria, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you to you and uh, give a look to our Paimina soon. <laughs> <laughs> we sure will. Thank you. Okay, that's it from here, from the host in Milano. I hope you got a nice impression of what's new in the coffee world about the new products, the M200, the Slayer V4, and yeah, that's it for now. Like every week, drink loads of good coffee and have a great week. Bye.